Magic Paint Box. No way! We're not sprucing up our dome with any of this! Ah. What about me? Don't you think I would look cool in your dormitory? <gasps> Helen, you're the best at spells today. <laughs> we're all doing so well. It won't be long before we're great wizards. <laughs> great wizards, you say? I'm shocked by your insolence. Soon we'll even be able to defeat Baba Yaga. Oh! Now, that's a bit too much. You clearly need taking down a peg or two. <gasps> that painting! I saw it move! Hachi, you frightened us! <laughs> you can move in and out of paintings? Awesome! Hello? I know the perfect way to spruce up our dome. I will paint the picture of us to hang on the wall of our room. Hmm. That's not such a bad idea. My own painting collection. <laughs> Girls, take some blank canvases and bring them to our dome. There are some paints here as well. Shall we? Yes, I've almost run out of red in my set. Whoa! Paint Buster! I told you to hold the ball in your hands! Goalkeepers only touch the ball with their hands. I'm a forward! Oh! You can lower your foot now. Hooray! Huh? Where did Rooney's ball go? I finished painting it, and then it disappeared. <gasps> How strange. What was that? Once I finish painting something, then it disappears and floats into the canvas. These paints are enchanted. Enchanted? By who? This person. No! Stop it! Don't finish it! Baba Yaga. Let's take the painting to Mr. Immortal. We'll get magic credit for it. What's that? What is she doing? <gasps> take me to Mr. Immortal? <gasps> I don't think so. Why did you try to trap us in a painting? To make you stop thinking that soon you'll be better wizards than me. You have no idea who you're competing with. You're really good at drawing. But to finish the portrait, you still need to make a few more brush strokes. And I know how to fix this. I've got an extra brush right here. I'll take you home and then hang you up on my wall so you can observe a truly great wizard at work. <laughs> How can we get out of here? We're stuck! We need a magic cloth. It's not working. Here, let me rub hard. It won't work, you know. Rub all you want. You're not going anywhere. My cloth was magical, and yours is some ordinary junk. <laughs> Time to take you to your new home. Another way out. If only we could move in and out of paintings like Archie. Theoretically, I think we can. Since we're in here, then we should all be able to move from one painting to another. That's right. What? You ran away? Come back. Come back here right now. Where did you go? while still looking out for Baba Yaga. Archie!
Shoot, help us! We need the cloth on the dorm room floor to wash away these paintings of us. Archie, we need you. We'll explain later. We'll be okay now. So you prefer a landscape? No! Idiot! How dare you! Get out of that painting! I'm not hanging this on my wall! <gasps> all right, fine. You beat me this time. But just so you know, you're all still terrible wizards. <sighs> thank you for saving us, Archie. Thank, thank you, Archie. Archie. And thank you as well to the widely smiling Mr. Immortal. You helped us a lot, too. Now I think I know which painting we should hang in our dorm. <laughs> <laughs> Songbird. What is that? It's beautiful. It's coming from the hall. Let's go. Wow, who is that? Don't you know? It's the songbird. That can't be. Who says that it can't? <laughs> because it very much can be. And it is. What do you think? Could it really be? Hmm, it is possible. This is amazing. Here you are, at our school. Yes, it is part of my charity tour for educational institutions. In fact, I'll sing for you right now. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, what's the rush? Perhaps later. But I love to sing. Why should I wait? Our apologies. The girls have classes. Oh, I see. The fine arts are not welcome here. I do hope our kind and gracious guest does not find us impolite and declining. Mr. Immortal? Well, all right then. But after class. <laughs> Very well. After class. Hooray! Hooray! How wonderful! May I have your autograph? Could you sign what my techniques? Too? Girls, just please stop. We don't want to overwhelm her. We must treat our guests with respect. It's time for breakfast, and then to our esteemed owl for Magic Home Economics. In the meantime, I'll give our guest a tour of the school. As you can see, this hallway is decorated in the pseudo fairy tale style of the last hmm. movie. Hmm. Where's breakfast? And no coffee. Something is wrong. Owl would never forget our breakfast. What could have happened? Well, looks like class is cancelled. <gasps> Look, it's Owl's feather. We can use it to track where she went. <sighs> to your mistress be drawn. Show us where she's gone. Strange, why would Owl be in the museum? It looks like something was here. And there's writing below. This magic feather swiftly brings the likeness of the bird who sings. The songbird's feather was here. Then she was Owl in disguise. I think so. Owl is gone, the feather too, and in their place, the songbird. This is wrong. We have to tell the teachers about this. Wait, hold on. Maybe she just wants to sing. I think you're right. Don't be so cruel. Let her sing just once. <sighs> oh, fine. A concert is a concert. Let's give Owl the chance to be a star. Until then, pretend we don't know. We should pick more flowers. Yes, Owl will be so happy. <gasps> a feather. Hmm, strange. Why is it here? Shouldn't it be somewhere close to Owl? Girls, let's follow it. <gasps> Look, it's Owl. You're right. She's been captured by Baba Yaga. Oh, she scares me. Don't worry. She's not home right now. See? No room. Let's go. <gasps> Oh, girls, thank you so much. Tell us what happened. Oh, how do I begin to explain? You're aware of how sensitive the immortal is to magic on campus. So I decided that whenever I, well, transformed, I should do it away from the school. In the name of the fine art of song, I request your power. 
What a pleasant surprise! <laughs> I was just flying by and thought I'd pay you a visit. Surprise! Wait, so the songbird is Baba Yaga, and she wants to... Really upset all of you! <laughs> I will sing a beautiful lullaby. The sort of lullaby oh. they won't wake up from. And there won't be anyone to wake them up. <gasps> oh, dear. Let's go. We have to save the teachers. <coughs> Baba Yaga, stop! <coughs> we know it's you. Marlene! <gasps> <gasps> Professor! <sighs> 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 Question? Where is he? Why isn't he here? Uh, what are you doing? Why aren't you sleeping? Sleeping magic has no effect on me. Now, if you don't mind... Uh, let go of me! I got it! Uh -huh. uh, uh, uh. Baba Yaga? Be gone from here at once! Uh -huh. I see you resolved the situation. She tried to cast a spell on us. A sleeping spell? To take over. But Dorma saved the day. Well done, Dorma. When needed, you are not a sleeping princess. <laughs> <laughs> I have a surprise for you. The songbird. This time, it's the real one herself. Hmm. Yay! Awesome! I feel bad for Owl. I'm very sorry, but I want to sing. Oh, do you like singing as well? <laughs> then might I interest you in a duet? Oh, hooray! Kidding the teachers. Ah, your pumpkin is growing wonderfully. We'll try turning it into a carriage later, like Cinderella. <laughs> Look what I grew. No one will be able to... Sleep well on this pea pod. No, no, you must make the peas ordinary. Fairy tale standards. Hmm. Interesting. Huh? What have we here? Uh. Well, these plants are invisible eggplants. Invisible? Hmm, I figured as much. A Forest Beauty Cosmetics magazine. You're too young to concern yourself with such things. Oh. But my grandmother has a birthday coming up, and she loves this sort of thing. Oh, while kindness is admirable, you're in class right now. Please try to focus on your studies. <gasps> they really grew. Mm -hmm. They're right, too. Well done, Daria. Professor Grunwald will be thrilled. He thought this variety of apple was lost forever. Who's that? Professor Grunwald? A professor of magical botany. I'm so glad Owl kept those old seeds. Girls, Daria managed to grow rejuvenating apples. Oh, aren't mine as good? Why, Dorma, whatever do you mean? Your apples are wonderful as well. They're just like your fairy tale. Try my apples. Mmm. These apples taste like no other. They're very special. Perfect for apple pie. What do you think? A rejuvenating apple lotion. Grandmother would be thrilled. I'll only pick a few. There you are. <gasps> Where were you? I, uh, uh... Never mind. Let's go. I've got the sugar right here. Here it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is a real feast. The girls have done a wonderful job. May I please have this piece? Mm. Mmm, this is magnificent. These apples are... They're from the magic apple tree. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. <gasps> hey, give me some more. That pie was the bomb. What's happened to them? I did this. It's all my fault. My rejuvenating apples got into the pie. Oh, no. And I was so excited to find them. We didn't have enough. I don't understand. Why did you pick them? It wasn't many. I only picked a few. Hey, let's play tag. There's a teacher's meeting, and it's starting now. Ah! What kind of meeting? A fairy tale optic session. Professor Grunwald is waiting. <gasps> what should we do? It'll be fine. Take the kids to the office. Stall the meeting for half an hour. And I'll look for a way to reverse the spell. Wonder Mount, please come in. 
Wonder Mont, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, if things go wrong, I can create some static. Deal. Here we go. Did you request a video call? Did something happen? Mr. Immortal, I'm listening. Whoa, you need something or what? Tell them about our garden, how it's totally off the hook. Make it sound really cool. Right, got it. Okay. Our garden is slain at one uh -huh. school. Our botany skills totally rule. The plant things are growing. Magical Lord. Rock is a very uh -huh. tough head. Don't stop. Our garden is hot. Now our students will report on their successful botany projects. Uh, oh, uh, we've achieved tremendous success with uh, growing these princess peas here. And a pumpkin carrot. And rejuvenating apples. Rejuvenating apples? But that variety died off ages ago. The scientific community will not tolerate fraud. Claims that cannot be backed up with proof will result in the school being disqualified and its license revoked. I've got your proof. Our teachers tested out the apples for, uh, scientific reasons. Experimenting on themselves? Such admirable dedication. And I assume the antidote was prepared in advance? But of course. Uh, uh, hello, hello. We can't hear you. Uh, it's a bad connection. Uh, what? Phew, <laughs> close one. Well, you done? Almost. <sighs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ta-da! Who shall go first? Me! Let me try. It could make you older. But still, we mustn't experiment on the children. It didn't work. The potion needs to cool off. Ah, uh, you're back now. <laughs> well, due to my immortality, these things don't actually work on me. In this case, I wanted to see how you girls would get yourselves out of such a, uh, uh such a curious predicament. And you did well. Where's my mummy? One moment. Let's get back to rescuing the teachers. Helen the Fair, if you would, please. Oh, thank you. I was quite thirsty. Mr. Immortal, can we please leave the professor this way? Look, he's so cute and playful. <laughs> <laughs> and review paragraphs 9 through 49. Wrong one. Ah, here it is. <laughs> I still think you should delete... My childhood has come to an end. The antidote won't. <gasps> oh, no, Lisa. Oh. Don't worry. It's only a mask. You see? <laughs> Daylight robbery. Hmm, that's not bad. This one looks a lot more like the immortal. At least compared to those. Sorry. <laughs> Both of you need a little more practice. But not me. Oh, Rooney! You just ruined my act. At least you have an act. I can't think of a single thing to do. You could make the immortal snore Well, awake. Or put Professor Cat to sleep. <sighs> but that's not very impressive. It's all right, Dorma. It doesn't have to be impressive. Tonight's performance is about entertaining the teachers. I'll go to the library. Maybe I'll be able to find a spell there. <laughs> Come back! Get down! Where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Mortal, do you need some help? No, I'm just organizing my spell books. But they keep flying. Now come back! Get back here! This looks like the Immortal's personal spell book. This spell brings darkness in the middle of the day. Oh, impressive. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Welcome, darkness. Farewell, light. Snuff out the sun, bring in the night. What time is it? 
Did I already miss the performance? Dorma, it's daytime. I don't understand it. The sun was just blown out. Like a candle. <gasps> it's all my fault. I was trying a spell from your magic book. I'm sorry, Mr. Immortal. And then I fell asleep and cast it in my dream. Dorma, what was the spell for? For temporary darkness. In the middle of the day. <gasps> what have you done? By casting the spell in your sleep, your magic was much stronger. Instead of a brief darkness, you've made... Eternal Night. <gasps> Eternal? As in forever? <gasps> How can we fix this, sir? Is there anything we can do? We can, but we must act swiftly. We have to reverse the spell before the actual nightfall occurs. Otherwise, it'll be night forever. We have less than an hour. We must find the correct spell. Then we will all need to combine our magic and cast the spell together. We must unite our powers to bring back the day. Hmm. If it's going to take all our magic to undo this, then what we need is... Baba Yaga! Hurry! The spell to undo eternal night is in... a red book. Hmm. Or maybe it's brown. Begin searching! Do you think Baba Yaga will help us? Uh-uh. I doubt she'd help us willingly. She's not like that. And forcing her isn't a good idea either. Should you? Uh -huh. I'm right here. Good job. You made it night in the middle of the day. <laughs> Congratulations. I couldn't do that myself. We came to ask for help. The immortal says we need all our powers cast together in order to reverse the spell. Or it will be night forever. Forever, you say? That's bad. So bad, you won't have any herbs for your spells. They won't grow without sun. And your hut will hibernate. She can sleep when it's dark. Hmm. We need to cast a spell before actual nightfall comes. Hurry! <laughs> what are you doing? But I like this darkness. It works well for me. It makes it easier to get away with doing naughty things. <laughs> See you later. Hey! Get off! <laughs> Good try, princess, but not good enough. We're free now. Oh, that means something bad must have happened to Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga, are you all right? So hard to see trees in the dark. Perhaps then you've changed your mind? <laughs> Sir, I'm afraid that we are almost out of time. I see that, but where are the princesses? Baba Yaga, why have you come? Oh, I had to come. Just look what those girls have done to a poor old lady. So, where's the spell? Sentimental. Stop. I've had quite enough. I'm sorry I caused all this. The performance was supposed to be fun, but I took it too seriously. Yes, way too seriously. <laughs> it's not always about being the best. The thing to remember is sometimes it's just the joy of magic. Couldn't you wait till after our acts to do yours? Is entertaining though. <laughs> <laughs> the Memento Box. Ladies, ta da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time <laughs> machine. Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own Memento Music Box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. 
And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion, milk flower. There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa. Oh, no. <gasps> Girls, look. I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map. It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa is in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely cones. <laughs> Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? <gasps> now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? When you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! <laughs> Girls, wait a minute! I need to get a cone! No way, Lisa! You're not going back! By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point! I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento! It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished! But my hair turned out not amazing! That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it! And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship after all. Who wants a box anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well then, I'll be green too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So I'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide-and-seek in the bushes. <laughs> Very well then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! 
Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is there even to learn? Bam! Bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Oh, did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow. Why didn't you wake me? Good. I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trembita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? <laughs> Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> Now, let's begin. <laughs> huh? Uh, that wasn't me. Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefully, Evonomics, Intrigology, and this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Music Encyclopedia. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is. Enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? <gasps> Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <gasps> music that cures hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Blah, 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 blah. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's what's powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. <laughs> Let's play! What exactly? 
exactly do you think you're doing? Us? The power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more. more and have the best concert. True talent. I have some news. There will be a magical talent show here at our school tomorrow afternoon. And I expect that you girls will have no problem competing for the top prize. Hooray! This is great. I'm so excited. I wonder where the final round of the contest will take place. When I get there, I'll send you a postcard. Maybe you should try winning before making victory plans. For this competition, we're all rivals. So if any of you forget a spell, don't expect for me to help you. Good thing I don't need your help. Girls, last night I heard a song in my dream. Let's sing together. Ah, every, every princess, princess for, for herself. herself. It's my one-of-a-kind acrobatic talent. Come on, step right up. You'll be amazed. I plan to utilize my studies and knowledge. I will answer any question from the Encyclopedia of Magic. Well then, why don't we begin training? I will impress everyone with my new dress. Come along, Magical Needles. Go to work. Mirror, mirror, full of light. Bring my copies to life. Yay, it worked. Now we can sing my song. What? Did they forget who the true talent of Wondermont is? Here's a gift from me. With this, all magic within your school will cease to work properly. <laughs> and then I alone will take the stage. Baba Yaga on a broom. What beautiful music. It must be Helen. <laughs> What's that? Someone crying? Is Owl stuck in a trumpet? I'm sure Helen is merely tuning her instruments. <laughs> Don't be alarmed, Professor. They are rehearsing. That's enough! Stop! <laughs> Don't you like the author? Um, it was more like a small disagreement. That wasn't the deal. Not to worry. It's under control. Ah! Ah! Stop it! I told you to stop! Someone help me! In the beginning of the magical chapter, we attempted levitation using only one's mental capabilities. Ah! Help me! Over here! Ah! What's happening? Ah! Girls, what's going on? Something is happening to my spells. Mine as well. Same here. It seems that none of us are doing well. And I said, every princess for herself. We all did. Yes, and now our magic won't work. Hmm, what do we do? Even my tiara has run away. Tiara, please come back to me. Here you go, Lisa. <gasps> Girls, I have an idea. Let's perform without our magic. We could work together. The ball act. What? They found a way? Thank you, girl. What color hood does Little Red Riding Hood wear? Enough! It's my turn! A trick question. 
Now that dark blue is in fashion, the girl known as Little Red Riding Hood only wears blue hoods. Hey, don't forget me! The most talented act in all of Wondermont! Go, Broom! I said go on! Come on! What is the matter with you? <laughs> Giddy up, partner! What was that? Uh, it was an odd comedy routine with a horse. You may carry on, girls. Thanks for helping me. Oh, I was the one who turned off the magic in the school. And my magic, too. The magic of friendship. And so all the princesses will go to the final round. <laughs> the Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You are the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, what was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters trick them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Daria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge, and the tall guy is the dumb one, like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. No idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. Whoa. 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 We did it! Oh. Oh. oh no, it failed. They 
must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living heads from underground, do the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger? So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Uh. Oh. Uh. Yes! A lot stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life-giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. What's that sound? Go, oh, brave warrior, Mr. Immortal, sir. Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Bosco! This is our chance to be heroes! Oh, brave warrior, show your mind! You'd better surrender, sir! We can't be responsible for our actions! Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears! Simply tickle them! Oh, brave warrior, show your mind! Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? <sighs> Who are those boys? Get your hands off our school! <laughs> you see, Professor, we thought someone was attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco... Hi there. ...and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it... ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. And now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. <laughs>